Hello everybody, my name is Ali D'Souza. I coordinate the BA Acting Programme here at the Royal Conservatory of Scotland and I am a lecturer in acting. And my name is Vanessa Coffey and I'm the lecturer in professional practice on the BA Acting Programme. What we're going to do in this video is to take you through what happens in the first round edition here at RCS. It's important to tell you that we've changed the process a little bit this year so that now we'll be seeing people for the whole of the first round audition either between 9 and 1 o'clock or between 2 and 6 o'clock so that you can plan your travel accordingly. So within either of those sessions there'll be three elements. There'll be the workshop which is what we're going to explain in this video, your individual speeches and which will include a piece of redirection and your interview. We see 16 people roughly between a day between November and March and we'll see 8 in the morning and 8 in the afternoon. So a workshop is a series of games and exercises, in this case that will last for about 45 minutes and that will allow people to really relax into the day and it allows us to see people who are really communicating with each other and who are able to collaborate with each other. We want to see how well you listen to each other, how well you respond in the moment, how you take ideas on board and how willing you are to take a risk. So please try not to overthink things and try not to plan ahead. We will start off with some icebreakers, some simple name games, games that will help you get to know each other and help us to get to know you and maybe some trust exercises as well. And then we might move into things like improvisations, something physical so that we can see how you work in that way and we might play a game of TIG which elsewhere in the world is known as TAG and then we'll move into something that you might have played in the playground something like grandma's footsteps. Yeah, TIG. It's, like, it's TIG in Scotland. <laughs> TAG in Australia. Yes. <laughs> Some of the no-nos from my point of view would be not listening to the other people who you're in the room with, either the instructions that are coming to you or the other people with whom you're working. Mm -hmm. So we're really looking for people who are engaging with everything in the room. The other no-nos are people who are checking in with the staff to find out what they're thinking about what they're doing in the moment. Yeah, rather am than I doing this right? Exactly, instead of just being in it and wearing clothes that are inappropriate. So if people are having to make constant adjustments to their clothes, or if they've worn things like a big pair of earrings that are gonna get pulled out, then they're no-nos. Yeah, and tie your hair back as well so we can see your face. Yeah. For me, the no-nos would be people who are just too shy, who are just kind of fade away into the background uh, because they're nervous. We understand you'll be nervous, but try not to just fade away. Also try not to show off and be too like, arrogant and get in the way of everybody. Um, just try and be present in, in the space. The best tip we have is to put your focus onto the other people in the room. Put your focus onto the game and try and take the focus away from yourself. So after the workshop, we really need you to stay warmed up. So we'd encourage you to really bring that energy back into the room that you've already had while you're working in that 45 minutes. So go outside, stay really active so that you can bring all of that back into the space with you. We should also talk about what we are looking for. Yeah. So what we are looking for is a combination of all those three elements. What happens in the workshop, your performance in the speeches and what happens in the interview as well. Are all of those three things equally weighted? Yes, they are. A third, a third and a third. Okay, we should also mention at this point that we do see 1,300 people approximately per year. So we see everybody who applies for the program. That number is then narrowed to 150 people who we'll see in callback. And then that's 24 places that we ultimately have for the BA Acting program. Yeah, it's just handy to hear the odds. Mm -hmm. So just to finish, we are looking for people who are... Collaborative, creative, curious... Flexible, generous, kind, 
uh, people who are politically and socially engaged and people who are engaged in the world of theatre, film and television. And we wish you all the very best of luck. Best of luck, yep. <laughs>